Indiana lawmakers resuming their efforts to drop handgun carry permits for many Hoosiers. CBS 4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us where the proposal stands now. With the end of the legislative session days away, lawmakers have brought back legislation to allow many Hoosiers to carry handguns without a permit, even though an amended version was killed in the Senate last week. This conference committee report. During a brief conference committee hearing Wednesday morning, Republicans unveiled a plan to turn an unrelated drug scheduling bill into the permitless carry proposal. It matches the version that passed the House before changes were made in the Senate. They offered no defense of the proposal as Democrats push back. I myself have a sister in law that's a, a law enforcement officer. Love her very, very much, mm -hmm. and I'm very concerned about what this bill would essentially do. Another one of those law enforcement officials, Adams County Sheriff Dan Maywar, who visited the state house to voice his concerns. We need to be able to vet people. Uh, my fear is we have all these people now that will just start carrying a gun. Have they had any training? Supporters point out permitless carry would not apply to Hoosiers with felony convictions or those who are deemed mentally unfit to have a gun. There are some in law enforcement who support the measure, including Hamilton County Sheriff Dennis Quakenbush. The system now is backwards. Uh, the individual should not have to petition the government in order to uh, exercise a constitutionally protected freedom. The proposal has been pushed for several years, but this is the most progress it's made. As the end of session approaches, Hoosiers on both sides of the debate are trying to make their voices heard. This bill seeks to put the onus on the government to prove that an individual is committing a crime at the time that at, at they're found with a handgun. I want this bill to die. Uh, and then we need to work together to find a, a way of having a prohibited database. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Republicans leading the committee declined to hear testimony. Democrats stayed after the meeting to hear from law enforcement officials and activists. The bill needs approval by lawmakers on the conference committee before it heads to the House and Senate for a final vote.